One of the persons who listened to those sound bites and was incensed by Reverend Wright's words is uh, Ken Blackwell. He's a Republican. He's also a former Ohio Secretary of State. He's now a senior fellow at the Family Research Council. Here's how he describes to me in our conversation uh, what black liberation theology is in his eyes. Liberation theology, which has been around for over a half century across Africa and S South America, mm -hmm. uh, finds its roots uh, in socialistic economic policy and political agendas. Uh, it is not orthodox Christianity. You criticize black liberation theology enthusiasts for turning Jesus Christ into a political no, activist. No, let, 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 let me tell you what I criticize right. and, and what, I'm, what I'm after here. You know, I believe that if one is running to be governor of a state that believes in capital punishment, then the voters of that state have a right to know if one's religious doctrine prohibits him or her as governor from carrying out the law of the land. Mm -hmm. I believe that if one is seeking to be the commander-in-chief uh, of the United States, it seems to me that it's a legitimate question for people to ask, can your religion, which must say uh, demands pacifism, mm -hmm. allow you to carry out that responsibility? Okay, then let me stop you there. Let me stop. No, 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 hold on. No, I have no, to stop you there no, because no, you just suggested no, no, what let, you are let, suggesting. Let me, <laughs> let me finish my, my thought. Go ahead. The, the issue is, then if you are advancing a political platform that says your view is one of color blindness, seeking justice, and a, a society where e pluribus unum from mm -hmm. the many one is your objective, then how can you embrace a doctrine that believes in black nationalism and separatism? What specifically is it about Barack Obama's acceptance of black liberation theology that frightens you? Well, it doesn't frighten me. I think there's a, a legitimate question that people should ask. I'm very comfortable yeah. in my Christianity, and, and which is of a, a traditional... But you are suggesting... I'm not suggesting yes, anything. You just did well, a moment I'm, ago. I'm not suggesting anything. I, 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 <laughs> okay. I, I indicated to your producers that before I would come on and talk about black liberation theology, that you all should run what the church says black liberation theology is. Let me ask you a question. Are you un-American or unpatriotic if you criticize the United States for its foreign policy now or in the past? No, you're not un-American. No. But I will, I, will, I will tell you this. When you begin to say, God damn America, and that we brought on the, the uh, and justifiably mm -hmm. the attack uh, on September the 11th, I think that's over the top. So th this is really political for you. You're looking at this as a conservative American. You listen to this and you say, you know what? what, what I just can't what, cotton to that. What, 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 I'm, what, I'm, what I'm saying is that I want to know if my commander in chief mm -hmm. embraces the doctrine that is articulated on that website. Ken Blackwell, we thank you, sir, for taking time to, uh, to take us through this and, 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 and talk, you know, openly about some of the questions that a lot of people in this country are looking at from the left and from the right and some who are just conflicted about this. We thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. There's no